it's day 12 yes <laughs> it's day 12 training day 12 um, I went last night for a sports massage so my legs are feeling a little bit heavy this morning so we're gonna just go out and do it nice and steady I do have the push chair and the dog again I've come to Nostal because I'm hoping it's gonna be a little less muddy than it was yesterday because yesterday was just horrendous to run in it, it was like running through a tree full oh, it, was, it was just a no-go really so let's hope that uh, today is a little bit better planning on doing about six and a half K but we'll see how we get on. Um, if I feel like doing a bit more, I will, but I'll probably stick to around there because, uh, like I said, my legs are just a bit tired from all the running this week. And also with having a sports massage last night, I had quite a lot of knots and things, so they're just aching a little bit from that. The uh, the dog's also not very happy about going out again for a run. As much as he loves running, he, uh, he does like to curl up in a ball and, and hide when it's cold, and it is absolutely freezing today. There's just fog everywhere too. So we'll just see how it goes, take it a bit steady. And yeah, let's see, let's see how this run goes. Finished. Can we go now? No, something else there. Jay, can we go? Yeah? Yeah? Are we ready? No. Come on then. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Actually, that was a lot less painful than I thought uh -huh. it was going to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, little man's talking along now. Uh -huh. Oh! Uh -huh. Yeah? Oh, he's done. Okay, so yeah, we've just been out. The plan was to do four mile, which is about 6k, and actually did just over 10k, but my watch has died, so I've no idea if it's recorded or not. I've also no idea how fast I did it in, because my watch has died, but I know it was over an hour. It's it's always really hard when running with the pushchair and the dog. The dog finds everything from mole hills to little holes that probably a rabbit lives down has to stop for a hundred toilet stops i don't know what he's eating and drinking but he must be eating and drinking more than i'm giving him because there's more coming out of him than that that was too much information i'm very sorry about that and then the lead gets tangled in the push chair or little man decides that he's had enough with something and throws it because he can't pass it mate and it just ends up being a bit of a yeah, nightmare. But it's all fun anyway, because at least, you know, I'm out and we're out doing stuff and little man likes it because he can point at the ducks and the sheep and everything else that he sees on the way around, so he quite enjoys it. It is hard work, I won't lie. Pushing that push chair with 11 kilos of little man pushed away at the push chair is tricky, but um, I guess that just means that when I don't have the push chair, it probably makes it easier. I don't know, maybe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I actually really enjoyed it today. Just nice, steady bimble. Um, I wasn't after a particular time or anything like that. I just wanted to get out and get some miles in the legs, really, and get little man out for some fresh air, the dog walk. So it's, uh, yeah, doing lots of things all at once, but productively. So that's quite good. Um, home now because I'm a bit hungry. So lunchtime, and I think that's training done for today because I could do with a rest for the rest of the day.